Let's play a little bit of this, just for a few seconds. Well, what is a Freemason Jew starting the KKK for? Albert Pike was a Freemason, and we know that Freemasonry is Judaism. <clears throat> uh, oh, and what's involved in Judaism? The Kabbalah, Talmud, all that stuff. That's Freemasonry. We know that Freemasonry is the Kabbalah and stuff. And they follow the Talmud. Oh, Albert Pike, he's the guy that founded the fucking KKK, a supposed anti-Jewish organization. This guy is a Jew. He's a Freemason. And free there you go. He's laying it down there perfectly. So I've subscribed to this guy already, just based on seeing a little bit of this video. Um, right. I like the low view count as well. That's, that's always a good sign. Anyway, so there you go. He's telling, telling you exactly what I've been saying for years. You know, Freemasonry is the Order of Solomon. It's, it's Jewish, it's Zionist for the last 300 years. And Albert Pike, well, if you look up Albert Pike and the KKK, what you get now is a load of uh, bullshit on um, Google Images. It's a load of um, COINTELPRO stuff trying to throw you off and saying... It, it, there's no proof of a link of this bullshit, absolute bullshit. Yes, he was a large part of the KKK at the very beginning. Now, KKK is 11, 11, 11, of course, K being 11, right? Let's uh, see what I've got here. There's another film, Monday at 11.01 a.m. That's also the date, the time of the reported birth of Kate Middleton's baby of course it's not her baby it's somebody else's for sure but uh, let's get back on to uh, Albert Pike because that's what it's all about here yeah and the KKK and three world wars he's supposed to have outlined three world wars right did Pike foretell World War 3 in 1871 no 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 he outlined it he outlined World War One, Two, and Three. Now, there's something here I've got about about that. I might even be able to find the quote straight away. Uh, no, no, that one. This one. The Third World War must be fomented between the Christians and the Islamic world. Is that ringing a bell? The war must be conducted in such a way that Islam and Christianity mutually destroy each other, leaving the uh, political Zionists in control. There you go. That's, that makes perfect sense. Right? Albert Pike, 33rd degree, which is 11 at plus 11 plus 11. That's why they love this. One of the reasons why they love this 11, 11, 11. There's a lying one here. See, you've got to watch out for the, for the results you get. Look, the war must be conducted in a way that Islam and political Zionism mutually destroy each other. That's a complete lie. That's, obviously, this is a sure, sure site. Yeah. Any, any channel calling itself liberty. Yeah, come on, they're taking liberties for sure. Yeah, that's wrong. The real quote is this that Islam and Christianity must be set against each other in Talmudic fashion. Yeah, divide and conquer and all that. Not this. This is a lie. This is a Zionist lie. And there's tons of Zionist lies out there. You've got to watch out about these, these search results because they try to lean you off. Now, you see? See, this is a shill site. See, they're trying to, trying to say it's not true about him outlining the three world wars. Obviously, he did. Oh, yeah, he did. The G game mafia right there. Anyway, let's, uh, let's go into it. So, this is the big thing. This is why 118118, I've got your number, is... I think it is November the 11th at 11am, 11 2018. 311, three times 11. Or 32 in binary, 3 times 11. 32 or 311, either way. So Fisk knew it. He knows it. He knew it was 3 times 11. Not 311, but 3 times 11. November the 11th. 
and the only year that fits perfectly is the exact 100th anniversary of World War One, outlined again by World, uh, Albert Pike. Some random archduke, some Hegelian dialectic trigger, was apparently reportedly um, assassinated, and then 38 million people had to die. Or nearly 39 million. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Anyway, and then it ends exactly on 11, 11, uh, at 11 a.m. Come on. Completely Masonic by the numbers. All right. So, 118, 118. And at nine, uh, 2018 is also a 11 as well. So you've got 11, 11, 11, 11 in that date. So the one coming up on November the 11th. 2018 at 11 a.m. is 11 11 11 11 the 100th anniversary so it makes sense that Albert Pike's third world war would start exactly 100 years to the hour to the hour of world war one the first of the trilogy and of course 9 11 is, is a black hawk trilogy ending in Seattle at Pike Place Market. But anyway, this is Winston Churchill's 11th hour. And we've just had the, uh, the Churchill darkest hour. Obviously the 11th hour. Blackout hour, darkest, of course. Now, I remember that... Uh, yeah, that, that this is ground zero for for the start of the Third World War. You could say that 9-11-2001 was uh, the start of the Third World War. Yeah, yeah, sure, it's the start of the trilogy again. But um, if you really want to look at a, a proper kickoff point, it's, it's got to be this one, the Seattle one. And this being ground zero right here with the Ferris Rawi or the Eye of... I have Ra, Sun Disk of Ra, Sun Disk of Isis too. They're both the same, male and female, of the same thing. You've got a fish shaped like a submarine. The Albert Pike. There you go, there it is. Pike Place Market. Albert Pike. Yeah? And this is why Alex Jones, the mega Zionist shill, walked down this street right here, towards here, talking about periscopes. Oh, we've got this up on periscope right now. Yeah. Submarine. And then getting transfixed when he when he finally comes across Ground Zero. He just completely lost his script. And I've shown you that several times. Because he's standing at the point where he knows World War Three will be kicked off. Right here. Right here. This is it. This is why the Ferris wheel is everywhere. Twisted metal black. Another one, 9-11 predictive programming video game coming out several months before 9-11. All about terrorists crashing in on a jet of some kind. There you go. See, there's your KKK, your Ku Klux Klan, Albert Pike, 11-11-11-33. Right? So it all comes together. It's all Albert Pike related. Now I'm going to do a video on war games next because I've rewatched it again and it's oh that's such a key movie it's ridiculous. I'd literally have to play large parts of the movie to show you but submarines are mentioned left right and center. And it's it shows you it's all based in Seattle. You see the space needle, you see the Puget Sound, you see the exact location of that. Of course it was filmed before they put this up for it, right? But you, it's looking across here to this area, to this side of the Space Needle. It's always this side. The explosion is always shown on this side of the Space Needle. Here, right here. Here's your ground zero.
Israeli predictive programming of 9-11. Israeli predictive programming or gloating? Well, it's both. Gloating, mockery, yes. That's what they love to do. Then there's the towers all over this game. It's so odd to be in a Japanese game of 1991, but... Yeah. Twisted Metal Black. There's your Space Needle. And it's got the submarine and it's got the towers. What the hell? Who the hell was this, this guy who designed the uh, stage one of this... this it's fairly small Japanese shoot em up 1991, huh? Seems to have it all. Hey? Anyway. Black out hour coming. Oh yeah, Seattle's mayor is gay, being done for underage paedophilia, etc. What a surprise. And here's Bob Bauman. That rings a bell, eh? Bauman from uh, the Boston hoax. Another con congressman was done for soliciting a 16-year-old male prostitute. That's par for the course in Freemasonry, of course. Here's your uh, Salt Lake City Mormon mayor, lesbian. And look, she's wearing a PSYOP ribbon. Hogs ribbon. And she's Jewish. Lesbian. And so on and so forth. Mason Wells, crisis actor... Freemason Wells, they're really mocking you as usual, trying to tell you that he was at three different hoax events. <sighs> Twisted Metal Black. This is a good one. I think D Zerd has sent this one. So J.R.R. Tolkien did The Two Towers and published it on 11th of November 1954. November the 11th, The Two Towers. Nine eleven. Finishing on 11 11 11 on Seattle, unless they switch it out to LA or San Fran. I'm not sure if they can though. I found that one a very good one. 1954. How old is this plan? Was this plan, huh? How far back does it go? When do they first figure it out? I mean, like, you're looking at uh, Albert Pike outlining three world wars in 1870, 1871. That's a long time ago. But they're still sticking to it. This is well put. Albert Pike, a Jewish Freemason, founded the KKK, which is 11-11-11. But there's more, isn't there? It's all about World War Three. 118, 118, I've got your number with these two evil-looking sods. Yeah. The 11th of the 11th, 2018. 118, 118. What else we got? Of course we've got this. 